Welcome to the Zix TV. I am the Zix, and this is another Star Wars haul. I've been shopping, as we can see, at my local Walmart and online. And we can see some of uh, what's this big thing back here? Wow. We can see some of the stuff. So let's 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 get right into it. Shopping for Star Wars stuff. And we got Rogue One. We got a lot of Rogue One stuff in this uh, in this segment. Director Krennic. And this is the only one I could find. And it's, it's kind of messed up here. It's kind of ripped a bit. But uh, that's cool. And... This is this is pretty cool. He comes with a comes with a, a blaster pistol, a gun, and it actually makes sense because in the movie, at the end, he when he confronts Jin Erso, he's uh, he threatens her with a with a gun. So he might get a, an action figure of an Imperial officer or uh, Moff Tarkin and. Uh, I don't know if those come with guns or not, but uh, they shouldn't have them because, the, you know, Moff Tarkin was in the uh, <clears throat> safety of the command center the whole time, so he never needed to pull out a weapon. But this guy did pull out a weapon at the end, so we got we got Director Krennic from Rogue One. And this guy, this guy was cool. Chirrut Imway. Got him. Who's this guy? K2SO. We got him. And I picked this up. It's Han Solo from The Force Awakens, I believe. Yeah, this is uh, when he went to uh, Star Killer Base. So we got some Rogue One, and I did see the movie, obviously because I referenced it, and it was great. Now, at first, I will admit that I didn't like it much but I gave it another chance at first I did I will admit I didn't like it much but I gave it a chance and I watched it again and it's it's got it's got everything that that a good Star Wars movie needs so it's got good characters as we're gonna see so picked up some more of these let's go through these first we got uh, Bodhi Rook he was cool and we got a shore trooper one of these guys gotta have one of these guys and Jen Erso when she was wearing that imperial disguise to enter the base we got those. And I picked this up. These are from Amazon. I picked them up from Amazon. It's Captain Phasma and Finn. Captain Cassian Andor and it versus an Imperial Stormtrooper. And they come with accessories, looks like. Zipline action. And a big gun. Got those guys. 
obeys Malbus, an Imperial Stormtrooper. Is this the same Stormtrooper? Oh, they're a bit different. Baze Malbus was cool. And he gets his his big gun, right? Gets his big gun. This is the only Baze Malbus I've been able to find in this pack here. Well, in, in this series here. In this type of action figure. And then we got Rebel Commando Pow versus Imperial Death Trooper. He was one of the one of the rebels that uh, attacked on the in the jungle. Kept the Imperial forces busy so that our heroes could complete their mission. So I got all these two packs and a bunch of single action figures and we got Jin Urso a biggie 12 inch And I happen to see this. This is cool. Cassie and Andor. And what's this? Ninja Turtles. I picked this up as well. Michelangelo. Jokester and hard-hitting nunchuck hero. What else did I pick up? Leonardo! Turtles leader and king of the katana. Isn't that true? So I got some cool 12-inch action figures. And this. An ATST. Imperial ATST Walker. From the Black Series. So, so you know it's going to be good because it's Black Series. And the package is kind of kind of messed up in the back here, but that's okay. It's a good thing I'm not too particular. It has a lot of features. You can fit your action figure in there. And it's got blasters. is one of those expensive things to treat yourself with once in a while. Looks good. Let's move on. Picked up this from a local dollar store. Kylo Ren. With his mask off. Haven't seen this before, so that's cool. Add that to my collection. And then... Finishing up this uh, this video, I got a bunch of uh, these Star Wars Elite Series Elite Series diecast action figure, Captain Cassie and Andor, and there he is. Check him out. This is 
from the Disney store. I picked it up at Amazon. And then you know who's coming, Jin Erso. Our other main character. Die cast action figure. And base Malbus. He was cool. I like him. He has some. Uh, it's kind of messed up in the front there. It's a good thing I'm not too particular about those things. Base Malbus. And you can't have base Malbus without Chirrut Imway. He was cool too. Both those guys were cool. And then I got Bodie Rook. And K2SO. Doesn't look like he gets a gun. He should get a gun for that that heroic moment when he was holding off the stormtroopers so that our heroes could complete their mission. He was appropriately heroic holding off those stormtroopers in that room so that Jin Erso and Cassian Andor could complete the mission. Then we got another main character, stormtrooper, Imperial stormtrooper, diecast action figure gotta have one of these guys he's one of the main villain characters the main face of the villains as seen in in the films they're they're everywhere they're they're the foot soldiers so gotta have one of these guys so I got a whole bunch of uh, bunch of these Star Wars Elite Series die cast action figures because I saw Rogue One and it was cool it is cool <clears throat> first time first time I saw it, uh, it, it it's a different it's it's a bit different than what we're used to <clears throat> oh, excuse me it's a bit different than what we're used to in Star Wars it's a bit darker it presents a, a kind of a, a darker rebellion than we're, we're used to seeing. Um, Cassie and Andor has to make some difficult decisions and he disobeys orders that he doesn't agree with and um, he's in a difficult spot and uh, Jin doesn't really want anything to do with the rebellion but um, when she meets her father she she changes her mind and, and comes around and then saves the day in the end with the help of her friends um, then we got Baze Malbus, Chir Imwe, um, Bodhi Rook the robot K2SO so at first I was kind of in a kind of I don't know kind of put off by how 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 much more grown up it was than the usual Star Wars we're used to seeing so it's definitely it it's it's Star Wars but a bit more grown up in my opinion the characters are a lot more grown up than we're used to seeing uh, in classic Star Wars and stuff like that and uh, it's presents some of the darker things that that we're not used to seeing there and um, who was that that one guy um, that Jin went to see um, on Jetta um, Saw Guerrera and his band Saw Guerrera and his band are 
almost terrorists. They're they're fighting against uh, an evil government. They're freedom fighters, is what they are. And the, the the evil government, the empire, is taking all the kyber crystals and stuff, and uh, from the temple, I guess. And the Saul Guerrero and his band are are they're they're freedom fighters, yeah. And it's 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 a bit darker than than the Luke Skywalker rebellion. And it I I would say it's even a bit bit darker than what we saw in the force awakens uh, but it's good I, I, I gave it another chance and and I like it a lot it's it's something that we haven't seen before in Star Wars it's it's different from what, what, what we're used to seeing we still get to see the spaceships flying around shooting each other we still get to see good stuff and action scenes where Baze Malbus and Chirrut Emway uh, uh, beat up some stormtroopers heroically. We get to see some some good action, but it does have that darker element to it. Uh, that 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 might be you know it it might be kind of kind of different from from the Star Wars that that we're used to seeing but uh, it rocks good story good characters um, and appropriately heroic characters so that'll be it for this haul uh, Rogue One is great not as good as Force Awakens but uh, but pretty close, pretty good. So, another good Star Wars movie. I'll be looking forward to the next one. And that'll be it for this video. Thank you for watching.